Okay, let's watch this. Porn stars and their partners play truth or drink. She won't do in a scene. Oh, you f***ing me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't do that with anyone else. <laughs> I eat <laughs> all of Whoa! <laughs> all you got brutally <laughs> honest here. Who are you two and how do you know each other? I am Kelly. I'm Robbie Apples. Uh, my name is Kate. Nathan Bronson. Uh, my name is Braylon Bailey. Apollo Banks. What does your husband do for a living? He's a porn star. Is it safe to say you're both porn stars? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A porn star couple, is that rare? A healthy yeah. porn star couple is rare. That's what I'd say. Who's the porn star? It's me. I know it doesn't look like it. She <laughs> looks like the porn star. Do people think that? Yes, because yeah. I have big fake tits. Ah. And blonde hair. <laughs> Bro, what is that tattoo? That's crazy. I'm kind of into it. But it is definitely like a, that's definitely a crazy, that's a wild tattoo. That's like, it, it, it's like you're an alien. Like you, you went and did the alien tattoo. You look like a Star Wars character or something. Who wants to start? Ladies first. Okay. I literally am subscribed to that girl with the neck tattoo on OnlyFans and she also is a porn star. <gasps> DJ Kento outing the lies on this cut video that's crazy bro maybe she meant like she's not a porn star as in like uh like she doesn't do like hardcore pornography or something but she still does only fans would you fuck a hot alien if it was safe what i would fuck a hot alien if it was unsafe what do you mean that's such a dumb question. Bro, how many times have I talked about how I, I would love to have sex with the blue aliens from Avatar? Like, what? I'm willing to take a risk, okay? I got probed. What did you think when you first found out I was important? You asked me before we were dating. She was just yeah. asking me as a friend if she should join. I, I didn't, I was like, okay, sure. Bro, this is like catatonic, dude. Cataclysmic, dude. Look at this. Not your average African. Moderator caught in fucking 4,000K. Okay? Not just 4K. Are you fucking joking? He just straight up publicly. You could have whispered that, my dude. You just publicly wrote that in the chat. You think I'm not going to fucking call you out? He said, DJ Kento, name? Need to fact check that. That's crazy. That's crazy. But also, like... I would like to know as well because I want to avoid it. That's that's why I would like to know. I'm just saying. Like, oh, oh God, I, I would hate to see that. You know what I mean? Also, this motherfucker is hiding the truth. What the fuck is this? You can't just drop that shit and not respond to all the people in the chat asking. It's like bringing food to class and the teacher being like, okay, share with the class then. And you're like, nah, fuck that. What do you mean? Cato punk. Cool. I didn't highlight that to copy and paste it, okay? Not what I was doing. Okay, you can't. F I fuck! Let's get back to the video. I don't know. It would be cool to know a porn star, so do it. You found some, some of, it, of my porn. That was how you first found me, right? Yeah. So the first time you saw him, he was sleeping with someone else? Yes. <laughs> and you're like, this is the one. Yeah. <laughs> when I found out you did porn, I'm like, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Why did it make a lot of sense? Because he's gorgeous. Have, have you seen, seen the rest of the Aww. performers? Gorgeous and male performer doesn't really have anything to do with each other. Why is that? Why? Because yeah. it don't matter. They're so cute. They're so fucking cute. They're so cute. If you're pretty, it just matter if you can keep your dick hard. Who fell in love with who first? I think I mean, it was at the same time. Yeah. I feel like you... You were such a hoe before me, and then first. I mean, we're still really... kind of hoes, but. But different, but different. <laughs> I remember Bro, she's when you so fucking me, peeled. You love me. Yeah. It slipped out, and I was like, what did you just say? And you're like, nothing. <laughs> you're like, I didn't say anything. I'm like, did you just tell me you love me? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the hardest part of your job? Just being tired, or I definitely got better at my boundaries and what I will and won't shoot. Yeah, Before know. I was like, oh, yes, 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 sure, whatever. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like, it's emotionally, mentally not cool to do things that you don't want to do, I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah. No. 
it's a lot more physically taxing, a lot more mo mentally taxing than I was ever prepared for. I can never be 100% whether my dick is going to work. Have I, I feel like, this guy's like, a, is this guy a famous porn star? I feel like he kind of is, right? I feel like I've seen him before. Work or not, it doesn't matter if you have- You have no idea. No idea, because you don't always want to fuck these people. <laughs> I don't care how much you think every girl that you want to fuck in this industry, you want to fuck them, guess what? There's been a time I did not want to. <laughs> I think the hardest part of my job is just having to perform with someone who is closed off. Mm. It just feels like you're having sex. This is actually unironically great pro sex work uh, uh, material, by the way. Like showing sex workers in their natural environment, talking about sex work in a normal way, like openly talking about the boundaries. Things that I've heard a million times from porn stars about like how when they first started, they were like willing to do anything and everything. But then they realized like once they were established, like, oh yeah, no, I have things that I don't want to do. You know what I mean? Like cutting boundaries, talking about how sometimes you don't want to fuck someone and you you still do it because it's your job, but like you just don't want to do it. Sex with someone who doesn't completely want to have sex, but they want to make money. And it's like an icky feeling. Like I'm like, why are you doing this? What do your friends and family think of our relationship? Honestly, they weren't too supportive to begin with. I think a lot of people just kind of project their own insecurity onto it and they were like, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do that and that's not a sustainable dynamic. Um, they're, all, they're all cool with it now, prove them wrong. My friends think you're fucking dope. My friends think you're super cool. My family, they love you too. Yeah, and your mom knows what we do and yeah, she's Yeah, my mom's supportive. like about it. She's, she's awesome. like, make sure you guys make your money, Yeah. have people pay you the correct times, the correct amounts, be on top of that. Does your family fuck with her having an OnlyFans? I think at this point, like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Like, I don't know how the fuck you would uh, be fine with the OnlyFans, but not fine with pornography. Like, how the fuck do you set that boundary? What do your friends and family think of our relationship? No, I want to drink. They don't accept him, do they? Some people do know, some others. Is your family religious? Yes. Um, parents love me now. Yeah, my parents do love you. They don't know that you do porn though. They don't know what he does. So I think so far they just think he's just a full-time stuntman. But my dad was like, he gets a lot of work for a stuntman. He's like, Hey, does he do anything else? <laughs> I was like, oh no, he knows. <laughs> How does your family feel about your job? You know, I think my mom saw it coming. I mean, when I told her that I was a stripper, like long before I got in porn, she was like, I knew something like this was gonna happen. My sister definitely knows, most of my family knows. Do you, think, had... do you think your dad knows? I think so. Like, my dad's called me on a handful of occasions, he's like, hey, where are you getting this kind of money from? I'm like, do you really want to <laughs> My dad's a pastor. Not like he really wants to know about the stuff. That's like, crazy. To ask her. Dude, this dude is awesome. I mean, they're both awesome. Everyone, everyone in this video is chill as fuck. That's dope. I like that. Right, so is a little bit of it kind of go like, fuck you, mommy. No. Imagine seeing your daughter's boyfriend in a porn you were about to enjoy. Yeah, that's weird. You got to avoid that, I guess. I don't know. No, uh, the whole reason I got into this. It's not. <laughs> How many people have you? Wait, what was the question? The stuff and I give him the option to ask or not. So is a little bit of it kind of go like fuck you, mommy. No, no. Uh, the whole reason I got into this it's not. <laughs> How many people have you slept with? I was waiting for this question. Maybe a hundred around there. I, on the other hand. Because your personal life before. <laughs> <laughs> before I got into porn, I remember that roughly was around a hundred. Yeah, I was about to say, like, the idea, another classic trope. Another classic trope is the notion that like porn stars fuck a lot of different people. They fuck a lot of different people. It's like, yeah, some porn stars are promiscuous on top of their fucking careers. But most of the time, porn stars are not more promiscuous than the average promiscuous person. Matter of fact, they're fucking, they're fucking a lot, but they're fucking the same people. They have to literally get tested uh, rigorously. They have to get tested all the fucking time. They also fuck for a living, so it's, you know, they literally said 100%. What, they literally said 100, what are you on? I don't think 100 is, I mean, it's, it's a lot, but not like that crazy.
But also, that's unique, too. That is still a ton. And that's on the higher side. Like, for porn stars, I mean. I've done, but I've been in seven years, and I'm working with a different girl almost every day. So the number... So seven is, different girls a week. May, well, maybe sometimes, 14 if you're doing I mean, like I double. did that seven girl reverse gangbang like <laughs> the other day. I, I know it's probably 400, 500, somewhere around there. How many people have you slept with? Like 15. And I thought that was a lot. Oh, how many people are you that's actually? A whopping 25. I thought it was 16. You <laughs> fucking slut. Oh my God. What part of my job intimidates you? Ooh. Um. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna take a shot. You are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Why is that a hard one to answer? It's not a hard one to answer, just there's always going to be a little bit of jealousy. I'd say I'm more comfortable with it now, but yeah. I think it'll always be there for both of us. What part of my job intimidates you? Damn, he said, he said there's, put, there's professional pipe layers in the fucking industry that he himself is a part of. That's crazy. That is... That's wild, dude. That's like a wild thing to think, in my opinion. It's like, if you have that mentality, that's, that's rough. There's always someone better than you. Somebody's got to be LeBron. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I'm just saying that, like, I stopped getting jealous when I imagined if I passed away, I would want my partner to only get better dick than me and not worse. Aw. That's a, that's a good, that's a healthy attitude to have. Me, I'm built differently. <laughs> me, I'm not like that. Haha. <laughs> The fact that you're able to fuck. Um, Who's the LeBron of laying pipe? Johnny Sins. Probably. Except, I don't know. I've talked about how I watched a porn with like Manuel Ferrara, who was like fucking Johnny Sins' wife. And, it's, it, and it looked like, it looked like it was something that we are not supposed to see. Because like, Manuel doesn't just fuck. He makes love. It's weird. I mean, he's got, he's got, di he's got dick like a child's thermos. Okay. Like that shit is not fitting in the lunchbox. Okay. But even then he's just, he's always making light. Uh, he's always making love. Manuel watches one piece and has sex. No other activities. I think it's Owen Gray, but that's just me, though. I mean, no. I think Owen Gray is cornered. I think Owen Gray has cornered the market in, like, um, just, like, fucking like the normal person could fuck. You know what I mean? Like, going in, eating pussy, and then fucking... It's, it's just weird. He's just so skinny. I don't know. Proof? Okay, I'm, hot. I'm not clicking that, dude. What the fuck? Oh, oh. Yeah, he does, he does love One Piece. Xander is the goat just because he's cool. Yeah, he's the man. Xander is dope. The LeBron of porn is a woman misogynist. You know, that's actually interesting that you say that. Because, yes, uh, in, in pornography, yes, women certainly are... are uh, more coveted and more celebrated, I would say. He cosplays? Dude, that's sick. 
That's sick. Oh, Jesus. The One Piece is real. <laughs> he said four sword style. No. What do you mean? He only has three swords showing. Bro, you're. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> Xander is also a major nerd, too. And he's dope. He's a Hasanabi head as well. He's cool. Almost anybody. Like, if I'm going to have sex with someone, I really need to know this person. I really need to be attracted to them. But he's just able to... Yeah, whatever. Let's, let's just fuck. What was her name again? Oh, yeah. Uh, I know their <laughs> names. Does your job affect your uh, sex life? There are some times where I cannot be, uh, like, most You have to save your precious seed. Sometimes, because, like, he doesn't want to come because he has to keep his cum shot good for the next day, or I'm super sore, and he has a big dick, so it's like, if I have sex too many times with him, then I'll be sore for my scene. Sex is great, but yeah. after a certain point, you need breaks because it gets a little tiring. Do we have boundaries when it comes to my work? Yes, change your bed sheets. Yeah, bed sheets. Please. Uh, I live in a place with one bed and we usually shoot content on that too. And I'm like, wait, has a girl slept in here? You're yeah. like, yeah, I'm like, change your sheets. <laughs> There's certain people that I don't necessarily want you to work with because I know how they are with women. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't want them to And you don't want me to shoot with anyone that has a giant, giant, giant dick. <laughs> yeah. It's just... Oh no! Bro, this goes to show, okay? No matter how fat of a fucking cock, you have it doesn't matter he is literally a certified pipe layer his girlfriend just said he has a big ass cock and he still is like nope there are some dudes there are some dudes out there with with too much of a giant cock there's always a bigger dick dude <laughs> this guy said because it stretches out the vagina that's not how it works No! Why are so many people still doing this? Like, that's not how that works, my man. No, that's not how the pussy works, bro. What do you mean? That's not how this, that's not how this works. The only time, maybe, maybe if you think, like, it stretches it out is fucking temporarily, okay? Like, you would literally need to fuck your partner immediately after or something, okay? And no, even then, like, no. The, the vagina is like a very complex fucking machine, okay? It, it's literally a muscle. Like, babies come out of there, dude. The fuck do you mean? That's like saying boner stretch the penis. Yeah. Imagine you eat a huge ass cheeseburger and your cheeks would just say huge and bulge. The fact that you have to provide sex ed to some of your viewers. I mean, yeah. Something's babies come out of the vagina and not uh, not the butt. <laughs> yeah, bro. Sometimes take a fat shit and it's unironically painful, okay? Especially if you haven't had a lot of fiber. 
Does that mean your butthole is permanently loose now? No. Okay. The educational system has failed some motherfuckers. Bro, what do you mean? We live in a country where there's like abstinence only sex ed. That's not how this works. Is it squirt or pee? I don't know. That actually is unironically partially piss. Yes. I've been saying it for a very long time. And, and that was through like, you know, anecdotal information that I have compiled personally over the course of many, many years. And people were like, no, that's not the case. That's not the case. Now scientists are saying that that is true. And it's like, I already knew that that was the case. How partially a big part of it. That's not even what an orgasm is supposed to look like, though. Yeah, that's not. It can happen during an orgasm, though. Can we watch more farting psychic tomorrow? We got interrupted yesterday, and I feel like we had four more hours to cover. Studies have caught up to my thorough piss testing. Yes. Yes. Science is finally catching up. People who like squirt are too afraid to admit they have piss kinks. I don't think so. Because I certainly do not have a piss kink. And I'm not afraid. I would admit it. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I literally talk about everything. Why the fuck would I not admit that? And I'll tell you, I've been peed on. Not great. Okay? Definitely not a great experience. I'm telling you right now. Not a great experience. Being squirted on, great experience. Being pissed on, awful. Don't like it. There you go. It's not the same. The contents might be the same. It just doesn't feel the same regardless. I'm telling you. I mean, you still have to change the sheets after regardless. Okay. Rate the P experience like audit the auditors. <laughs> okay, let's watch. Let's watch this. Is it? Because like, it doesn't feel good. It hurts. So I'm wondering, like, do guys think that because a guy's a bigger dick, they're like Maybe better than them or something? Maybe it's an ego thing as a guy. I, I, I don't know. It 100% is. Bro, she literally said she can't fuck you for too long because your dick's big, Okay. Like, if there's a dude with a bigger dick than you, it 1 million percent is not going to be, like, a fun fucking experience. It's so, it's so dumb. But listen, ultimately, ultimately, I get it, you know? It's just, no matter how big your dick is, you know, there's always going to be a bigger dick out there, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to fuck with you a little bit. It is what it is. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, what do you do with me that you won't do in a scene? The thing I do with you that I don't do with anyone else is just have those intimate moments of closeness, which is more beautiful than what I actually get to have uh, in a porn scene. I mean, when we have sex, like I'm like I'm like giving you all like every ounce of my love, you know. And I don't do that in my scenes. What do you do with me that you won't do in a scene? Oh, you cream pie me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't do that with anyone else. I, I, I come in you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I eat your ass. I'll let Whoa! <laughs> God, brutally honest here. Have you ever thought about leaving me? I told my parents I watched you and they said they would check out today's stream. Oh no. Dude, don't do that. Don't do that.
that's just a mistake, dude. Especially if they're unsubscribed and it's at the top of the hour and there's a three minute ad break coming and they're going to be like, oh, thank God there's a fucking ad break at least. You know what I mean? Don't tell them to subscribe no matter what, because at least we can sneak in our jokes. Of course, unless you want an uninterrupted broadcast experience, then all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for five dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime, that is, or by getting gifted a sub if you're lucky. You know what I mean? Maybe your mom and dad just got gifted a sub. Who knows? Maybe they're one of the people that Trump card gifted. Five gifted subs. Thank you, Trump card. A lot of five people to no longer see the ads. This is the three-minute ad break now. I'm on fire, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't even know why you're worried about saying that. <laughs> this is fine. I was, I was a little panicked early on. One- British oil spill on my chest. For the thank you for the five gifted subs. Angelica Can, thank you for the five gifted subs. Trev Tennessee, thank you for the five gifted subs. If this was something I could do. Have you ever thought about leaving me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like we both. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shot. Honestly, I think we both had the what conversation. What couples don't get in arguments? Yeah. Never, ever, ever, saw, ever. Saw but ninety one. What the fuck? Thank you, saw butt. And Miss Melzy, thank you for the five get the subs. <laughs> Do you think about me when you're having sex with other people? Transphobia phobic, thank you for the five get the subs. AKA badass. Thank you for the five. Give this subs. The top of the hour bot rated this one a 9.38 out of 10. Let's fucking go. I'm popping off, baby. Woo! Sometimes. Listen, it wasn't just me. We did it together. We did it together. That chatter gave me a layup. Don't ever forget that. We're doing this together. These ad segues are being done. But together, I got to go pee. Jess, <laughs> there's been definitely a handful of times when Does I'm in a scene and I'm just like this. <laughs> mm, let's think about her eating my ass at the same time. There we go. That's the most. Like, if it's a really... Horrible scene. Like, I'm just like, fuck, there's no way. Like, this is taking too long. You think of me? Sometimes I will, My yeah. Heart. Wow. <laughs> I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, maybe I wasn't feeling the energy in the scene, and I was like, <laughs> okay, just pretend. Okay, I'm having sex with Kelly. Yes. <laughs> Sunshine and rainbows. What about that time I was on set with you, and I was actually there watching? Oh, yeah, it was super hot. Yeah? Super hot, yeah. Okay. There was one time she actually came to set, and she watched two of her scenes, so she was trying to... Um, Normalize it. Normalize sure. what I do. It was good. Like knowing she was there watching, you be able to look over her once in a while. She's like, oh, oh, oh. He kept glancing over at me every oh. now and then. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> If I wanted you to, would you leave the industry for me? I would never leave the industry altogether. I would definitely start doing more OnlyFans, mm-hmm. but it would have to be equal. That's what it'd have to be. It would have to as both be doing OnlyFans. Okay. So I wouldn't just me leave and you still be in the industry. Okay. Never. That's fair. Yeah. Would you leave the industry for me? Um, would I quit for you in the long run? If we, yeah. You would? Really? Oh my God, they're so beautiful. I'm gonna die. I'm crying a little bit. They're so they're so wonderful, dude. Oh, she got so excited, and he he stopped himself. He said, "If if we got, I think he he meant like if we got married." If we, yeah. You- oh. Oh, they're so wonderful. Oh, my God. Oh, there's, it's so pretty. I'm going to cry when I fap later. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it would? Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh. That's, like, huge. Hmm. I hate these people anyway. I don't know. If it was like a transition and I was on board with it. Sure. Oh, no. This was never my goal job in the first place. I like doing it because I'm good at it, you know? If we're going to have this life together, it's like you want it, I'd probably do it, yeah. Oh, sweetheart. That's a big deal. Fuck, fuck. Oh, thanks for the titty poke. Why do you think we stay together? I think we're <gasps> incredibly compatible. <gasps> I think we build each other up and we want the best out of each other. I think we both create. 
Bro, how do you say yeah to that, dude? Stop. That was a cute moment, you fucking pervert. <laughs> You're crazy. And we want the best out of each other. I think we both create a safe space uh, for each other to oh, yeah. express our feelings and our emotions and ideas. Well, of course, because we love each other, but we're honest. I'm very forgiving and... Because you're very forgiving. Fuck Jesus. yeah. That's why we stay together? I feel like because I think about it and I'm like, is it really... I see, I see a little bit of tension. I see a little bit of tension here. Is it worth destroying a relationship over something so small? Yeah, fair. Like it's more what you can go through and heal from and bond. Mm -hmm. Why do you think we stay together? I think we stay together because uh, when it comes down to it, I'm something that you've needed. Yeah. Through the times, all your relationships never gave you the freedom or the love that I would. And I want you to feel like the woman who can do anything because you haven't had that in your relationships and I want to make sure that you feel that in ours. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> oh. Oh. They're the best. Oh, they're so cute. This was probably the greatest cut video that they've ever done. I, I loved it. It was great. It's like pro sex work. Showing porn stars in a good light. And you're going to beat your shit to her later, shameless. Okay, that's between me and God, okay? You don't need to add that. You don't need to add that into the fucking conversation. I'm, I'm trying to have a wholesome fucking moment, okay? And yeah, maybe I will ruthlessly punish my meat. You don't need to know that, okay? You don't need to know that at all. Yeah, that's between me and the fat top, motherfucker. You don't need to know that. <laughs> ah! Not ruthlessly, bro. Come on. Okay, let's watch Cutie.